फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल आदि टेक्निकल दिस इज अ चैनल फॉर लर्निंग ऑफ कॉन्सेप्ट्स रिलेटेड टू रिफाइनरी केमिकल इंजीनियरिंग पेट्रोकेमिकल सो माय टुडेज टॉपिक इज अबाउट डीजल डी डीजल हाइड्रो डी सल्फ्राइजेशन एंड यूनिट इट इज डीजल हाइड्रो डी सल्फ्राइजेशन यूनिट एंड ओवर यू सो इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द hydro desulfurization concept basically it is a catalytic chemical process used widely used to remove sulfur from natural gas and from refined petroleum products such as gasoline or petrol jet fuel kerosene diesel fuel and fuel oils the purpose of removing the, removing the sulfur and creating products such as ultra low sulfur diesel is to reduce the sulfur tax and so to emissions sulfur dioxide emissions that is it from those using those fuels in automotive vehicles aircraft railroad locomotive etc another important reason is that removing sulfur from the naphtha steams within a petroleum refinery is the sulfur even in extremely low concentration it poisons the noble cat metal catalyst platinum and rhenium in the catalytic reforming unit that are subsequently used to upgrade the octane ring rating of the naphtha steam so now we come to the diesel hydro diesel fusion unit basically why is it required this unit the purpose of diesel hydro diesel fusion unit is to hydro treat a blend of gas oil light gas oil heavy gas oil vacuum distillate uh, from uh, cd video rich breaker gas oil if you have the, if you have the rich breaker unit and heavy kerosene and light cycle oil from fcc in order to reduce chiefly the sulfur content and also nitrogen content that is secondly it includes the saturation of olefins and cetane improvement so we go to the uh, this is the normal unit process view means you may say the basic uh, diesel hydro diesel fusion unit uh, process view earlier it was like that so you may say that the diesel unit treats different gas oil to as i told you from various origins that is straight run or track product the feed is a mixture of products containing unsaturated components dialyphins olefins aromatic sulfur compounds and nitrogen compounds and the definitely sulfur and nitrogen content in the feed are depend uh, they depend upon the crude so the purpose of this unit as i told is to hydrolyze a blend of straight run gas oil and cracked oil for production of high sulfur diesel of sulfur content nowadays it is less than 10 ppm so the hydro diesel sulfurization reaction releases H2S in the gaseous hydrocarbon effluents. This H2S molecule is achieved by means of continuous absorption process by a MDA methyl diethylamine uh, solution. So somewhere it is DEA solution. So in, your, in addition to the desulfurization, the diethylamines and olefins will be saturated, and a denitrification will occur. So reaction part will go. Uh, this is the unit pick uh, of this this unit. and uh, if you say that uh, though it is here written dsd unit but uh, uh, the dsd unit also more or less nowadays this is a you may say the advanced version of the process uh, now our reactions how we are going for the reactions that are taking place in the what are the desirable reactions for uh, the in the dsd unit so first is the desulfurization reaction the mercaptan sulfides and disulfides react easily leading to the corresponding saturated or aromatic compounds you may see here the mercaptan that is rsh plus s2 gives rh plus s2 s then rsh plus 2 s2 gives rh plus 2 s plus s2 s sulfide sulfide combined into cycles of aromatic structure like thiophene is more difficult to eliminate and you can see the reaction thiophene plus 3 s2 then uh, Di benzo thiopene plus 5s2 it gives benzyl cyclohexane. These reactions are exothermic. They produce hydrogen sulfide and consume hydrogen. Second is a denitrification reaction. The rate is slower than the desulfurization reaction. These reactions lead to ammonia formation. This reaction also exothermic. You so see here pyridine plus 5s2 gives the uh, the this compound plus ammonia and. Uh, Amine plus S2 gives RH plus NS3. Hydrogenation of oxygenated compounds. You may see here, plus uh, S2 gives S2. This uh, product plus S2. 
like that. Uh, the reactions are happening. And the hydrogenation of olefinic compounds, the reaction of the hyalo exothermic dihalofenes to olefins, olefins to paraffins. The hydrogenation rate is faster than the hydrogenation rate. Hydrogenation of aromatic compound. The hydrogenation rate has thermodynamic limitations for even pressure. When the temperature increases, the hydrogen rate increases first, reach a maximum, then decreases as the temperature continues to increase. For a given reaction, the hydrogen rate reacts increases rapidly with the pressure. Now the uh, second, uh, next is the demetallization reaction. The organometallic compounds containing uh, AC, PV, copper, nickel, vanadium, etc., that is arsenic, uh, lead, are cracked and the metals are trapped on the catalyst. So these are the this uh, discuss with the desirable reaction. Now, what is the undes undesirable reaction? The maximum distillate product is, is achieved by limiting undesirable reactions. So hydro cracking is not desirable. It decreases with the increase in temperature. It is limited by the selection of catalyst with low hydro cracking capacity and working at low temperature. So, coking is uh, not is not desirable under the because under the operating conditions, heavy molecules are absorbed on the acidic sides of the catalyst, may be condensed and progressively polymerized on the catalyst and form coke. The coke deposit is the main cause of catalyst loss of activity. So friends, uh, detailing next in next video I will be sharing the uh, uh, process uh, flow of the DSDS unit. As you saw, uh, as you see that uh, and, and uh, the, the sections of the unit. For example, the feed and the reaction section, SP separation section, HP amine section is there. The hydrogen recycle section is there. Stripper section is there. The dryer section is there. Techno vacuum section is there. And amine absorption circuit is there so thank you for uh, joining me in this video of uh, dsds unit and please give your comment share the video uh, such type of knowledge sharing videos will be continued do subscribe and share my channel also comment the topic you want to make videos uh, regarding chemical engineering because i am a chemical engineer and uh, uh, so uh, uh, comment in the topic which which uh, on the topic which I feel uh, you can understand as a chemical engineer what topic I should make or what you want to make from my side uh, any topic any process related to refinery okay and uh, if you want to make uh, want to make me video on uh, certain unit operations also you can say and please share and motivate me to uh, so that I can grow this channel thank you very much bye friends